hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ajili and I'm back with another video today's video as you know by the title it's about slick ponytail hairstyles for black women or for all type of women okay so if it's your first time stopping by my channel thank you so much for clicking on my video but please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also click on the bell notification so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video and please don't forget to share to your friends and family so as you already know the christmas festive season is fast approaching today is first december we thank god for bringing us this far for protecting us and guiding us throughout the year and bringing us to the end or to the last month of 2022 for me personally i'm very very grateful to god because all right i'll reserve that for later so i want to ask this christmas what hairstyle are you rocking are you rocking um ponytail hairstyle so in um weeks or you braiding your hair personally i always tell you guys i have very dry low porosity hair like my hair is very extremely dry so i always try i do my best to make sure that my hair is always moisturized as much as i can all the time so i do not like to um expose my hair too much during christmas and you know christmas here in ghana is a matan season yeah it's more in december january sometimes november yeah so i don't like to expose my natural hair a lot during this season so i like to go with braids but some people also like to go with ponytail hairstyles so if you are that kind of person and you clicked on my video to get an inspiration for a ponytail hairstyle trust me you are at the good place at the right time because this video has lots and lots of beautiful ponytail hairstyle you can try and they have different styles of ponytail and styles you can try for this festive season like i said i personally do not like to expose my hair during the festive season in december january you know those months because it's a dry season and my hair is extremely dry so i like to protect my hair like braid the hair or do a protective hairstyle that will protect my hair and give my hair more moisture that's me you know if you are on a healthy hair journey you have to steady your hair and then do what it likes in order for you to see growth and make your hair healthy so for the past years i have been doing this and i know what my hair wants and what it doesn't and what works for my hair and what doesn't so a friend can come to me and say oh i tried this product it's very good it's blah 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 it's good yes a hair is different from mine so um that doesn't mean if it works for hair it will work for me but i will try it though but if i see that no it doesn't work for my hair i stop it right there so i like braids I like to go in for cornrow braids and I like to add extensions okay so because I want my hair tagged in I don't want to expose my hair so if I use uh, my own natural hair to braid my hair I'm exposing my hair I'm still exposing my hair so I like my hair tagged in so I like to do cornrow braids maybe Fulani or all back cornrow braids or you know pony high ponytail cornrow braids or i like or the hair i really like or i usually braid during christmas is box braids and most of the time i braid it from december maybe the second week in december 
until the end of January. And this hairstyle is very has really saved my hair during this season. One time I decided to switch it up from the normal box braids to a sew in and I with a leave out. And trust me, my Christmas was horrible. The first week of doing that hairstyle, the hairstyle looked nice, but as the weeks go by, I couldn't keep the hair in for three weeks because my natural hair out, like the leave out, was looking like I don't know how to explain it. My hair was looking separated from the like you pouring oil and water that kind of thing it didn't look natural at all so i had to take down the hair so that cost me double because i after i take i took out the hair i had to braid again meanwhile if i had braided like what my hair wants or what i naturally or what i usually do for my hair that works for it i wouldn't have spent a lot like double so i always try to stop myself from doing sewing sometimes you know you want change and all of that but you know sometimes you can do weeks too like um you braid your natural hair and then maybe you can let them add a little bit of extension just a little then you can be wearing the wigs on it that also protects your hair but i haven't tried that though but like i said i like to braid my hair and when i'm braiding my hair um the box braids i like to braid medium not small medium and not jumbo as well because i want to keep the hair in for a long time have you realized that when you braid jumbo hairstyles it takes like less time and then it starts to look old and that means that you have to remove it and change it so i like to do medium medium not too big and not too small and it should be full you get that then so that when you style your hair it will look nice so that's what i've been doing for the past years and it makes me enjoy my christmas and one thing i also hate is that after i braid i would have to use i always have to have cream in my bag or wherever i go and i can't use gel because you know it's a dry season when you use gel and you go out then where you use the gel will look white and your hair will look white and it's so disturbing and i don't like that so instead of using gel for baby hair i use shea butter or a moisturizing cream hair cream or hair oil to do my edges and so that it looks slick and nice so let me know in the comment section the kind of hairstyle you like to do on christmas i don't know about outside but i know it's super cold because of the snow and all of that so i don't know the kind of hairstyle most of you or what you've incorporated for your hair routine during this season so let me know in the comment section i know one day i'll come to the states one day i'll come abroad and i will not forget your tip that you will share with us today on this video so please do share in the comment section let's get interactive and share your tips on how you maintain your hair your the moisture in your hair during the dry season in your country and please does anyone know how you can slick down ponytail hairstyles without using much of spirit and gel and also being under the dryer to make the hair dry because from my experience with gel, I know they are very drying to the hair as well as spirits. And also sitting under the dryer makes everything worse because you are putting a lot of heat on your hair, on your hair that has things that will make your hair super dry. Alright, so I just remembered, does any of you know flaxseed? Flaxseed. 
um it's a kind of seed that when you cook or you put on fire with a little bit of water when you cook for some minutes it becomes jelly like i learned is a kind of gel and it's also very good for the hair like it has a lot of hair benefits that can make your hair grow make your hair thick and i've heard a lot of things about flaxseed okay so if during this season you want to use gel i'd advise you rather switch it up with flaxseed because with flat flaxseed sorry it will slick your hair down to your desire just like gel and also give your hair some benefits because the longer you keep in it like the more work it does to your hair so with that you get two you kill one stone with two beds you use one stone to kill two beds sorry so it's much better that way okay and also some people use shea butter i have a friend who uses shea butter and when she does it makes the hair look so slick all right so you can try shea butter as well this is for those who are doing it their hair or their own ponytail stars at home but if you're letting someone you know do for you you can also tell the person what you want when you go to the salon always make sure you tell them what you want i can't do that but i always tell people to do that because if you can why not do it tell them what you want so you can send your things that you need the flaxseed the shy butter or you ask them ahead of the appointment whether they do if they don't you make sure you make those things available to them when you go and talk to them about it if they can do it for you if they can't then you look for someone else to do it for you because at the end of the day when you are bald like your hair is not healthy you are the one they are going to laugh at at the end of the day if your hair is healthy and full and nice you are the one who is still going to get the compliments. Your hairstylist or whoever caused you the pain or confidence in your hair is not going to get any compliment. You are going to get the disgrace, the embarrassment, and also the good compliment. So if you want something that would make you happy, do it. I wish I can get someone who tell me this, but do it, okay? So you can replace the gel and the spirit with flaxseed and shea butter, and maybe any oil you use for your hair. You can also use castor oil. It's very thick, so you make sure you mix it with a lighter oil like olive oil or coconut oil. I don't like coconut oil for my hair because it makes it look fried or something. I don't really like it for my hair so I usually don't use coconut oil I prefer olive oil castor oil avocado oil guys recently when avocado was in season here in Ghana I took advantage of it went to the market bought the ones that were rotten and come and see the amount of avocado I got for just something for pay uh, for uh, something small like plenty i'm i'm really looking forward to this year's season of avocado i'm really going to take advantage of it i'm left with small of it and i will show you guys how i do it okay it's so easy and so fun to do especially when you read the part where you are squeezing the avocado and you're getting all you like it's so magical so i will share with you guys how i do it i really can't wait to share with you guys right now avocado is very expensive and with the amount of, of, of avocado i got the other time and the small oil i got even if i try my best to buy this one I, i'm really gonna cry so i'm waiting then i'll go to the market the village women that sell avocado that are rotten go to them don't buy the fresh one put it down no go to the market like um go to the big big market where this the people bring their fresh from them from the village normally they have rotten ones or ones that not really rotten but 
are very ripe and very soft so you get those ones and then use it i'll show you that video i can't wait to show you guys i can't wait to do it again this time i'm really going to do a lot and i will share some with some of my friends because of the other time the amount of avocado that my woman gave me i thought i can get like a bucket of it and share with my friends i promised them but at the end of the day it was something small that i can't even share with anybody so i was really disappointed and really sad so this time i'm really going to make it up to them and share it with them i really can't wait so you can use avocado oil and which other oil carrot oil i haven't tried it all these oils are very good for your hair and ever since i did that avocado oil i've seen some thickness and growth in my hair i'm very sure you are inspired by this video and you've gotten your beautiful ponytail hairstyle you'll be rocking this festive season please do tag me on instagram when you post them don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye